have a question from Tyler, and he is asking, what should you wear with a utility-style kilt? In what sense? Like the rest of your outfit? Or... Um, nothing specified. Okay. Okay. Um, rule of thumb is, uh, from in our estimation, a utility kilt, a cargo kilt, is basically casual wear. So you'd wear whatever you'd normally wear with like a pair of jeans or a pair of dockers or whatever. You know, it's basically that simple. Yeah. Um, it's a question of what context you're going to be in for that day. <clears throat> you know, basically, context. Context yeah. is king. Da -da 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 -da. If only I had a graphic for that. We need to make it as a ping so it comes up behind us between us and the background. I could probably do that. Sweet. Okay. The, now you have to. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, basically, um, and I'll jump ahead a little bit. I did have a question here. Um, cause That's this kind I was of, thinking yeah, too. uh, Joe Cox, this is actually the next one on my list. Um, he was asking, can you wear a utility kilt as part of a heritage outfit? Um, how can you dress a cargo kilt up? My sister is getting married and I was considering wearing my black utility <coughs> kilt. Would it look okay with a tuck shirt and a tie? So that's, that was a, re that's related to what this person yeah, is asking, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, to me, this is my opinion. The, and I know Chris Gulick is out there about to, you know, freak out and throw a th something at the computer screen. Um, I hope not. The, um, a, to me, a utility kilt is fine. I don't mind utility kilts. I have some utility kilts. That being said, I would only really wear it like I would wear a pair of jeans or a pair of cargo shorts. The most I would dress it up would be like a sweater or that kind of level. Nothing that approaches formal. It's so... For, to answer the first question, what would I wear with it? A pair of sneakers and crew socks, a pair of combat boots and a t-shirt. Um, the most I would probably do is like a golf shirt or a sweater with it to, you know, dress it up a little bit if you're going to go on a date or something like that. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen, and I have no problem with using a contemporary kilt. Let's, ex you know, expand it to try and include all of the utility kilts. You know, a contemporary kilt, let's say. So like... With uh, like a 21st century tweed with right. the pockets on the front kind of thing. Yeah. But, but that's but, dressier. But yeah. It is dressier, but my point is um, <clears throat> I've seen, and I think it's okay if you're going to wear that, again, kind of like Dockers. I could see using one, assuming it's well-pressed and you're wearing it well and you haven't been hiking and camping it so it's all beat up and looks, you know, kind of wrinkly, um, wearing it to the office even with a polo shirt or with a, you know, with a shirt and tie and a sweater vest, kind of a hipster kind of a thing. I could see, I think... Utility kilts can work into a hipster kind of a casual or business casual yeah. aesthetic pretty well. Um, as Cork far as pie hat, maybe Fedora. I've seen guys. Maybe. I've seen guys yeah. use. I've seen guys wear a pork pie or a stingy rim. Yeah. Um, but uh, the um, that's the thing. It's kind of it's a fashion thing. So if you're going to be kind of fashiony with it, yeah. um, you can do a lot. Uh, I will definitely. That's my cho my choice of kilt a lot of time for like a metal show. Because, you know, it's basically been T-shirt and necklaces and, and bracers and that kind of stuff. And that's, you know, it's part of the, the general aesthetic of the event. It's kind of kick-ass and, and warrior aesthetic kind of a thing. Um, bringing it into, into city life, into civilized society, can be a little bit more difficult. Um, I will argue that you could wear it almost like this guy was asking. You could almost do it for something like a casual wedding. If it's a type of kilt that, A, doesn't have multiple colors, and B, doesn't have... Um, the cargo pockets, like I have a, uh, a mocker, a Utilicult brand yep. mocker. You can get away with a fair amount with that because it has clean lines. The, one of the reasons why a contemporary kilt doesn't work for dressing up, dressing up, really dressing up, is that it doesn't have very clean lines. The pockets tend to make it bulgy and a little awkward, and the way it hangs can be a little awkward. But something that's a hybrid like the mocker or a 21st century kilt, if the lines are cleaner, you could dress it up a little bit more. Um, is it going to be as nice looking as a traditional kilt? No, it's not gonna have as clean lines. It's not gonna be as form fitted as a custom tailored kilt. Um, that's the other problem with utility kilts is they're not custom tailored to your body. So they're gonna fit you more boxily and more clumsily. Some are, not, okay. not every brand. All right, all right. I'm, yeah. I'm painting with a broad brush there, <clears throat> but yeah. um, I would say you might be able to get away with it with some dressy but casual things, or if it's like a subculture kind of a theme thing or a theme kind of a thing. <clears throat> Um, but you're certainly not going to be able to wear one to a black tie or a white tie affair, you know? Yeah. Like I wouldn't wear one for St. Andrews, you know, or my lodge meeting or anything like that. Yeah. So. It's, it, yeah, I could see if it's, if you're going to a casual wedding, 
I can see it. Mm -hmm. If you are having a casual wedding, like a beach wedding or something like that, yeah. or in nature, I could, you know, see it that way. It's, right. It depends on the person, but that's not formal. It's right. a casual wedding. Right. So, yeah. I think, I think the thing is, when you're wearing it casually, you just do whatever. It's casual clothes. You just don't worry about it. Just wear whatever you want. If you're trying to wear it for an occasion, you're going to have to be aware that you are pushing the boundaries and you're going to have to be creative. You're going to have to be clever and you're going to really have to own it. You know, if you have any question at all about whether anybody's going to think it looks odd and it's going to ruin anybody else's good time because they're looking at you and you're like, you're the oddball in the, in the context of the event, then you may not want to do it. See what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say this, <clears throat> if in that instance, um, if you're, if there's other guys that are going to be in kilts, but you want to be in a utility kilt, but you're afraid you're going to be an odd man out, maybe adding a spore into it because it brings it in line with the less skirt-like aesthetic, yeah. more kilt-like aesthetic. Again, if it's one of the cleaner design ones with either the very subtle pockets yeah. or no yeah, pockets, yeah, that's what I'm talking then about. a sporn will look cool. Yeah. Um, I do that with my mocker. <clears throat> um, I will wear a sporn with my mocker, but I would not wear one with my survival kilt that has all the big, yeah. you know, industrial yeah. strength pockets on it. Yep. Okay. 